Okay guys, just going to give you a, a warm up demonstration and just a couple of things to focus on on your warm up. Moving into the kick so that you can uh, go back and not overdo it and not do things you aren't meant to. So we'll go uh, step by step and one thing is just uh, no steps, one steps, two step kick, nice and easy. Uh, this should be done into a net. Make sure you suck your guts, nuts, finger, nice and tight, chest and tight. That one I was probably leaning a little bit back, so keep that lean forward through the kick. Remember our finishing spot, we want to finish in the same spot every time, one foot Okay, so just remember with this all as well about the pointed toe. We want to make sure that toe is pointed from the time it is cocked back right up through the kick and squeezing also till the time you put it back down on the ground. And we'll move into one step kick. One step. Point that toe up, waist it back on the spot. And then we'll move into two step kicks. Still nice and easy. We don't want to let our leg get way out here. Small kicks, drive up. Two steps. Place it down. Place it down. Just remember we're always trying to look at our foot and we don't look at the ball until we've placed our foot back on the ground or close enough to just as a reminder that we don't need to lean back and look up into the kick. So what we'll do is I'll grab the balls. We will uh, We'll go no step kick, one step kick, two step kick, and then I'll actually kick it, just do the progression. Make sure that from no step, one step and two step, the whole thing should look exactly the same so that you're not trying harder when you've got to kick the ball. And then loosely, just go into your two step kicks, into a net preferably. No effort, I want really short steps, just kick it through with your technique. do the same drill from behind you see that uh, we're not walking to the right and uh, we're not trying too hard again this is just about your warm-up technique making sure that you get good impact on the ball point your toe place your foot in your landing spot so if you continue to think about your landing spot Make sure that this ball is out and you can see it.
saw my body fall over that way, outside. So I've got a left hand kick. Get your balance, keep it going straight, keep the ball out to the right. Front on, same deal. Let's try and walk straight. Let's get our alignment straight. Not walk to the right. Finish off. Good spot. Look down. Feet touch the ground. Then we can look up. As a progression through this tour, I also want you to think about kicking the ball and driving your knee high and getting your balance. You'll know you're in balance if you can kick and then keep your knee up high after the kick. Where your weight falls after you kick the ball, see if you're going to fall over. Okay, on this series, I'm going to try a bit harder, and I don't want to. Try, I want to keep my legs and steps short, but I want to really jam in with our plant foot, bang, so that we can drive that knee faster. So trying harder, I want quicker leg speed on the drive kick on the kicking leg, but nothing else. Try and jam in faster on the kick. 